The way that you take the market away from the criminals is you legalise it and regulate it and control it. If you're a cannabis user and you're faced with a choice between buying it from a dealer off a street corner and you don't know the purity, the strength and the effect of it and what, what it's going to do to you, or you can go to a licensed government outlet and you can buy a, a, an amount of cannabis and you'll know the purity, the strength, the effect and your responsibilities. That one from the government sponsored place is much safer, much more controlled and much more regulated. And if you have a choice between committing a criminal offence to buy it off a deal on the street and buying it from the government, you would buy it off the government. You wouldn't buy alcohol off of some guy who mixes it in a garage as opposed to buying it at a supermarket. So the first thing that happens is that you get control over the market that people are going to access. The second thing is that in order to make this work and make it work properly, you need to legalise all the drugs that are currently illegal because the fact that they are illegal gives an, an underground market for them. Once you ban them, you lose control over them. If you lose control over them, then people can make them to whatever recipe they want, whatever strength they want, and sell them to who they want. Drug dealers don't ask you for ID. You can be a 12-year-old or a 72-year-old. As long as you've got a tenor, they'll give you a bag of dope. Once you legalise and regulate it and take the criminality out of it altogether, you get control back that we don't currently have. You also get huge amounts of revenue, huge amounts of income, huge savings on the police budget, on the criminal budget, on the court budget that you can put into education and enforcement. The follow-up question is, if they don't sell drugs, what will the criminals do? Well, they'll do something else. And I don't mind that because if they've got to work for their money, fine, but at the moment they're not having to do an awful lot of work and they're making substantial amounts of money. So if you legalise it and regulate it and take it away from the criminals, that allows the people who currently use the drugs to come forward and say, I need help, or I don't need help, but I want to be able to buy whatever my drug of choice is from a proper source where I know that it's safer than the stuff I'm currently buying. So our view is that everything that's currently banned should be legalised, regulated and controlled. That doesn't mean it becomes a free-for-all, it doesn't mean it becomes compulsory and that people have to use it. Leap's view is that once it's legalised, regulated and controlled, provided you are over 18, you know the purity, the strength, the effect and your responsibility, then if your choice is to take cannabis or heroin or cocaine or MDNA or whatever your drug of choice is, then you should be allowed to do that.